Hey everybody, um, tonight I have a couple of sign orders to do, so I wanted to show you um, just to process how I do my signs. Um, this is not what we're going to make tonight, but this is just something, it's a couple of my signs, this is just how I hang it on my, when I go to shows. So this is a stained piece of wood, and this has a cream paint over the vinyl and I pull the vinyl up so you can see the stain part underneath it. So this is the process that we're going to do tonight. Um, there is a different way you can do signs as well. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. My machine's going. I'm trying to print uh, my stencils. This is paint and then this is um, pulling the letters out of the stencil when this is leaving the letters on the stencil okay so this is what we're going to be doing tonight but on a different a different uh quote <clears throat> okay so i have my image here my stencil so i just printed it out um, i have my piece of wood i already stained it i stained it a little bit earlier literally everything's gonna have glitter on it Okay, so this is the stained piece of wood. It's already been um, sanded and prepped. Um, I do all of that when I cut my wood down. Um, so I that's just a whole process. So I do a thing like an assembly line. <clears throat> Let me get some paper towels. Hang on one second. gonna put something down <clears throat> okay so I start with um, we need to weed this so I have a couple tools that I use I get all my tools from Harbor Freight they are dental tools um, I don't use the little the um, circle ones or the curved ones I use my pokey stick okay um, so I want to keep the letters so I'm gonna do it like a um, decal like you would on a cup so I'm gonna peel the background first um, once a smaller stencil I do the insides but when a bigger one I just go ahead and just do the whole outside so I peel it up let me move you guys So I start peeling it up and I make sure that I don't accidentally get the stuck back on the on the bottom here. So I kind of fold it over as I'm pulling it up. Because if you get it stuck back on the bottom, you're pretty much, I mean, it ruins it. And then sometimes I cut it if there's too much. Um, or if it's a big one, then um, I will need to cut it off. And so if you see up here, I don't want to uh, mess it up. So so you just kind of pull it up. If your settings are just right on your um, cutter, then it should just come right up. You shouldn't have any issues. So I am kind of pulling a little bit rough, but I know that my machine, um, it cuts it pretty good. So I'm not too worried about um, things uh, pulling up with it. So you see my hand? I have all of it in my hand right now. So you can cut it off again so that way this part doesn't get actually stuck to it. See sometimes when you have like commas and dots um, if you, your settings aren't right then that comes up with it. Those are my spinners in the background too. We got some tumblers on the spinners night. All right, so there's that. So peel that right off. So now I get my little pokey thing, and um, I uh, just go and get all the stuff on the inside out, and I just kind of like push it in between my fingers and take it off. My spinners kind of sound like they're dying over there. Sorry. I don't know if you can hear it or not. 
Does anyone do wood signs in here? I know I, we created the group and put vinyl, wood signs, tumblers, whatever. Um, just because that's kind of what I do is signs and cups and tumblers. Um, when I start my YouTube channel, um, the videos will be kind of like fast forwarded through this part. But, you know, when you're live, you can't do that. So, sorry if you're bored right now. Done. <clears throat> we have the wood. Um, I already had the wood prep, so I didn't have to do that. Um, I stained it earlier. With stain, you kind of want to make sure that it's dry. So I stained it about noon, and I've had a fan on it um, just because it's oil based. Um, sometimes you kind of have a issue trying to get the stencil off. Um, the transfer tape and stuff like that when it's the um, stain. Earlier, I noticed the inside of that A came off, but I kind of like put it on my uh, vinyl, so I need to kind of pick that off real quick. Okay, so I, when I think I got it all, I kind of just go back over and make sure I did get it all. So, I think I got it all. And then I make sure I'm not missing any commas or I's. If I am, then I reprint them before I do this part. Um, so, you will need um, polyacrylic. This is another project I use polyacrylic on. So, polyacrylic, you can either use the gloss or the satin. Uh, most of the time on wood signs, I use satin or matte. Um, and then you'll need a... Uh, a squeegee thing. Hold on, hang on. <clears throat> Squee thing and transfer tape. So here's my transfer tape. Um, my transfer tape is a little bit more sticky than I'd like. So I'm going to show you something that I do. I put it on my shirt. I measure it out how much I want. It's just too sticky. So, this is literally what I do. So, that's another thing that I need that size. Okay. So, to get my design, make sure this is de stickified. It's too, well, if it's too sticky, then you have an issue getting it off the off the vinyl. So put it on here. This is okay if it creases um, because it's not the vinyl. So um, almost 98% of the time I always have a crease on this. So it is okay. And I reuse my um, transfer tape. Um, so even though I just destickified it, I can still do probably about five more signs with this. Um, so I basically just get my squeegee. Um, or credit card or whatever and just make sure that it's all stuck on to my transfer tape. Okay. I am going to cut off um, the transfer tape that I use is, I think it's called Green Star. I get it off the of eBay. Um, just remind me and I'll put the link below um, after the video. 
All right, so I'm pretty sure that this is all off. So what I do is I turn it over and I kind of go from the corner and peel it up. It's all off. So this is ready to go on the width sign. This is a 12 by 12 sign <clears throat> um, that I sanded and painted, or uh, sanded and stained earlier. There's little specks of there in it. Okay, so basically what I do is I put it upside down. Let me try to move you guys a little bit because, let's see. There, you wanna have to see my crazy face now. <laughs> okay, um, well now it just kinda looks weird. <laughs> okay, so I put it upside down just to kinda gauge where I want it. You can measure it out. Um, so a measuring tape and I just kind of see um, this does look like about where I want it so I look at a um, far left and far right um, thing so item so I have a come over here and I have this swirly thing over here so I kind of see how much space is going to be right here on on this and I can shift this way so right now I'm eyeballing. I'm just looking at it and thinking where I want it, okay? Um, and so I do the same thing from up here and then down here. So um, this does look like about what I want it. So I'm going to get my measuring tape and see how close my eyeballs are. Well, then it gets stuck to the thing, of course, right? Okay, so that is about where I want it. So visually, this is how I want it. Okay, so my eyeballs, this is telling me that it's um, pretty close to where I want it. So now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm not going to press it down. I'm just going to lay it on here very gently just in case I have to move it again. And how I get the um, it even for like the straight edge is I pull it all the way to the bottom and my amen at the bottom is a straight edge. So I'm gonna pull it all the way to the bottom and put that amen right at that end of the piece of wood okay so if you see right here the amen is right straight with that piece of wood so visually with my eyeballs this is how i am um making it center and making it even straight and stuff like that so then i pull it up so i'm grabbing both of the sides and i'm going to pull it up with my hands so i'm pulling it up evenly all the way up so my left and right hand are pulling this up super even, okay? And now I can tell that I've moved it up too far. So I kind of figure out, um, remember where I just had it when I was flipped upside down visually, and this looks like it. I have about this much space, this much space, so then you can just measure it again. Yeah. Okay, so just a little bit more and we're good. Okay, let me make sure my sides are still where they were. Okay, this is how I like it. This is how I want it. So this is where you need to um, press down evenly. And so um, still make sure that you're, you're still aligned with the bottom here. So I'm gonna put my thing right here in the middle. 
and I'm gonna hold this side so I'm not moving this. I'm gonna go out. So that, that way my words, um, if I just keep going, if I go like this, you're gonna have, it's gonna be a hot mess, you don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go out, and we're gonna make sure that we're pressing those words down. And now I can go from this side. So I'm gonna push it all out. And you don't really want the um, vinyl to buckle because this is how your sign is going to look. These words, where they're placed, that is where the, um, they're gonna be. So now I'm pressing um, pretty hard on it. This thing is bending how hard I'm pressing on it because um, I really want it to stick. When I have stain, it's, it's always pain. So it's always a pain. The, the vinyl never likes to stick to the uh, to the stained wood. Okay, so that could be could be stuck. We don't know. So this um, piece of transfer tape is on top. So I'm gonna peel this off first. It came off pretty good because this is overlapping right here. So now I'm gonna roll it off. So I'm rolling it off so that way I can see what's going on. Can you guys see this? Um, that way I can see what's going on up here. So that actually worked pretty good. This I keep, I stick it to something. So I have transfer tape all over him. So that's pretty good. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. I'm going to grab a corner and see how this came up. No problem. You're going to get your little squeegee thing um, press it down you can use your finger um, and kind of guide it down and so here this is coming up as well this is coming up so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and give it another another uh, squish we're gonna make sure that's all down um, if the vinyl isn't all the way down um, you're gonna have bleeding um, the polyacrylic is going to help with the bleeding a little bit, but you want to make sure that the vinyl is all the way down anyways. So we're going to go and press this down. And sometimes my transfer tape is just way too sticky. Um, and so see how now it's smooth coming up. And when it's cursa, it's cool because um, it's just all connected. Okay, so I always go at an angle. I always roll it off. I don't yank it off with the transfer tape. Um, I roll it so that way I can see what's going on at, on the underneath. Okay, so now this I keep. Stick it to something. Okay, so now I look at it. And if I'm happy with it. If I'm happy with the way it is then I go ahead and um, start it. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to do is we need to keep it from bleeding. So if you had, if you painted the wood sign brown or white, then you would go over the whole sign with that color, with your base color. But since it's stained, you can't go over it with um, stain. So I'm gonna use my polyacrylic. I just have a paintbrush and I have my satin polyacrylic and we're going to dip it in here and we are going to first of all make sure all the letters are down and we are going to go over over the words so we're gonna go left to right up and down and basically this is um, so there's no bleeding of the color that we want to put on it, okay? So you want to make sure you go from all angles. If you don't have polyacrylic, you can use like a brown, um, that's closest to your stain. So that way... Um, when you pull it up, if there is some bleeding, you really can't see that much. This is sealing it. So my top coat is turquoise color um, over here. 
and I don't want that to go underneath these words. I want a crisp line with these letters. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm gonna come back in about 10 minutes um, because I'm gonna let this dry and then I need to um, heat gun my tumblers over there. So I'll be back in 10 minutes. I'm like, what amazing thing are we doing tonight? We are making a wood sign. So it is stained underneath and we paint it on top of our vinyl and then we're gonna peel the vinyl at the very end. So give me 10 minutes. I'm going to let this dry, um, and then I'm going to heat gun my tumblers, and I'll be right back. So this is what we have so far. The polyacrylic needs to dry on this um, because the next step we're going to do, it's going to be pretty cool, but it needs to be dry. So I'll be back. Ten minutes.